so you put out that video, and did things change in your career in terms of doing stand up and so forth after that? Um, no, not really. No, it just it let me know that I was on to something. You know what I mean? But no, nah, the money still wasn't coming because even though the video went super viral, people don't follow you off of one thing usually. Like you gotta have, you gotta keep bringing it. You know, people will watch it, but they don't hit the follow button. They just go, hey, that's funny. Move on. Because so that's the way social media works. It's a ton yeah. of funny content on there. You got to prove that you're worth keeping their attention. So, you know, it didn't change much. But I, I kept grinding. Like, the change was fast, though. It went from not um, not having an effect on my career. That video, let's say, was in January, right? By the time June came, I was selling out shows. Really? Yeah. Okay. So from January to June, you went from working at Sam's Club to actually selling out shows. Yeah. <laughs> so you quit, you quit your job? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I quit before the selling out shows. As soon as I saw like that the um, views and stuff was picking up, I was like, I need to put more time into this because this is clearly going to be something. Okay. How did it feel to actually quit your job at that point? Uh, terrified. Yeah. Terrified because it is unknown. And at the time, I just had a baby girl. Oh, so oh I had wow. A, I had okay, so what does your daughter's mother say when you tell her that, hey, hey sweetheart, uh, I know we have this new baby and there's all these new bills and everything else like that, but I'm going to quit my stable job with health benefits and everything else listen. like that to do internet comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, the funny part is she was the one pushing me. To quit the job. Mm. I was, I grew up, like I said, like, you know, the middle of seven kids, my dad held things down. A man is supposed to work. That's the way that I'm the man's supposed to take care of his family. But she's like, she always knew, she knew, she always knew. She knew the first time she saw me on stage that it was going to be a thing. So she always pushed me. I was lucky in that respect because I know a lot of guys who do comedy and they don't get support from whoever they're dealing with. But she was always... Nah, you need to do this. I'll hold it down, you know, until things work out, you know. And she don't work anymore, so it works, uh, <laughs> you know, to the women who don't want to support their homeboys, support their man's mixtape. It can happen, just to <laughs> let you know. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's actually kind of funny because I, I did a post on one of my, uh, you know, social media accounts recently. Uh, it was a new term I haven't heard before called hobosexual. <laughs> which is someone that enters into a relationship <laughs> into a relationship to prevent themselves from being homeless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was Ho me. Hobo, hobo sexual. <laughs> someone that enters into a relationship to prevent Yo, themselves from being homeless. I definitely was a hobo sexual. You do your research, <laughs> man. You good. I uh <laughs> I was. Uh I did, I didn't even know about that term, but definitely yeah. So you were, a, you were a homosexual. You were yeah. basically in a relationship oh to prevent Man, being, I was, being homeless. I, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a place. Man, but I could sling dick. And I knew <laughs> if I did it right, <laughs> if I did it right, I was going to end up in a place. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whether, you know, I just had to do it right. I had to use what I had. You know what I mean? And I had nothing but that. But it worked out. You know what I mean? And everybody was paid back. Uh, <laughs> everybody shout out to everybody who made this possible your dreams you know okay so so now you're starting to sell out shows yeah and is the money starting to come at this point to the point where you Man, actually support yourself insane. off the comedy i'm talking about making double in a month what i was making in a year at my job really really yeah really so you're talking about a sam's club job Maybe thirty, forty thousand a year. So you're actually dub doubling that. Yeah, in a month. In a month. Yeah. How did that feel? Uh, unbelievable, man. It was uh, <laughs> was the, it was still. I was in disbelief for a long time, man. Like this can't be real. Is this real? Like, but and then you know I was being from where I was from. I had never been anywhere. So the thought of like I'm in Concord, North Carolina. They saying, hey, man, you have a show in, like, Nashville, Tennessee, or you have a show 
in St. Louis, Missouri, or you have a show somewhere, and I, I've never been to these places, and you get there, and there's a room full of people who've paid just to see you, just because they enjoy what you do. Like, oh, man, it was the greatest feeling in the world, man. Like, yeah, nothing beats that. No, I feel you. I mean, nothing like working for yourself. You know, yeah. there's, you know, like uh, I said recently, you never hear an entrepreneur saying, thank God it's Friday. Never. Nah. Never. <laughs> every day, every day is a good day. <laughs> every day is a good day. I you told know, people man. I could never go back. I could never go back yeah. working a job, man. No, I feel you, man. I, I was a horrible employee, man. The last job I had, they fired me after like two days. I said, fuck this. I got to. I got to go do something different. I got to work for myself because I suck whenever I work for anybody else. I got fired from a job. I got fired from a job. We made um, fiber optics. It was a good job, man. It paid pretty good. But uh, it was like a third shift job. Mm -hmm. And I kept falling asleep. And then they would get mad at me. And I could not understand why you were mad at me. It's 2 a.m. I'm supposed to be asleep. I was like, you guys clearly don't know nothing about the <laughs> the way the body works. I'm supposed to sleep right now, you guys. And they were like, that's not a good excuse. We're going to have to let you go. And, uh, it was funny because after that I blew up, but my picture was still in the employee lounge. <laughs> and people were telling me about it. They said people would come in and go, he works here? Oh, no. no, they just, somebody don't do their job. And apparently they thought I still worked there for two more years after I was gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, and you actually do the videos completely yourself. You film them, edit them, man. everything. Self-taught okay. and editing, everything, man. I I learned um, very quickly not to really depend on people like that because everybody doesn't have your same drive and everybody doesn't have your same you know vision. So I had to, instead of leaning on somebody, I was like, nah, I'll just learn how to do it myself. I'll do everything myself. So all the, the shooting, the editing, um, I mean, the grabbing clips, visuals, everything being edited in, that's all me um, <laughs> in my house. Yeah. With okay. a cell phone. <laughs> okay. And you and you put out a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, you, you really crank it out. I guess you said that, you know, your Mary J. Blige clip, that was one of your favorites? That was one of my favorites because... You know, I cuss and, you know, I say nigga a lot. That's what, that's how I talk. But then it got to a point where people were like, well, that's, you know, the, the basis of his comedy. They felt like I couldn't do it clean. You know what I mean? And then I made that Mary J. Blige video and it's like one of my longest videos and it's completely clean and it did like 6 million views. And I was like, there you go. There's all the people who criticize whether... You know, I can do this either way. I'm, I really feel like I have the gift. The gift. I really have a talent for this. And you know, sometimes you just got to show people. You know, I can give it to you however you want to. It's just I really talk like this though. It says here, Mr. Isaacs, that you want eight thousand dollars a month for a personal chef. Now, I think that you're being a little bit unfair to yourself, sir. You've traveled everywhere with this woman. You've eaten in all these fine dining places, and now you just want one chef? No, no, sir. I can't let you go out like that. So what I'll do is give you 30 Darden gift cards so you can eat at any restaurant on this gift card. You can have 30 different chefs per month. Look at God. Oh, no, don't thank me, Mr. Kendu. Don't don't thank me. Just think about what the Lord can do for you. It also says here that you need thirty two hundred dollars for a personal trainer. You are a free man now. You should not be cooped up in the house having a personal trainer come to your house. You are single now. You need to roam. You need to be free. So say it with me. Jesus. Be a Planet Fitness membership. Yes, Lord. Yes. And we will get you a personal trainer from there for one year. And by then, you should know all the exercises. Amen. It also says here that you want a $1,000 clothing allowance. I will also allow that. You are the ex of Mary J. Blige. You need to be out here looking like it. I see here that it says $5,000 for your children. Also, for your parents and 71,000 in 
rental properties. All right, there's no need for you to have rental properties. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, break all of those leases. That's right. We're going to go ahead and pay those out. Therefore, you don't even have to worry about the debt. Look at God. We're going to get you a four bedroom apartment. Yes, count it. One, two, three, four. And we're going to get your children and your parents to live with you to cut out that $10,000 debt. Yes. And $2,500 in travel over 12 months. That's 30 grand. Instead of just go ahead and giving you money to, to see what you can do with it, what we're going to do is we're going to get you the new Camry. Yes, Lord. Now your children and your parents can chip in on gas. Look at God. Now you don't even need maintenance fees because you have a landlord. Amen. I see here that you have $10,000 in vacation and entertainment. So what we're going to do, we're going to get you a PlayStation 4. And every month, Miss Blige, you must buy him a new game. That would be roughly $60. And this PlayStation 4 must come with a controller so he can play with his kids. Amen. As far as vacation, we will supply you with a rental car. Amen. To go to any state of your choice to stay at a Holiday Inn Express, I hear that if you stay there, you will become smart. That is something you clearly need, being that you decide to mess up a relationship with a woman who paid for everything. Amen. I also see here that you have $21,000 in charitable donations. There will be no need for that because those who are receiving charity cannot give charity. Amen. Miss Blige, you will be responsible for all of his attorney fees. There's no need to break it down to $100,000 a month. She'll just pay for the divorce. Thank you. And as far as your accounting fees goes, you should just be accounting your blessings. Amen. Miss Blige, are you okay with what we've come up with today? <laughs> Did you get any backlash from any of the people that you actually ridiculed in these videos? No, I don't. Um, I'm sure. Like, I've heard some things, you know. Uh, I hope it's not true. But <laughs> I heard oh, I heard Odell Beckham is not a fan of mine at all. But, you know, I understand that. But <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, when I make this content, it's never personal. It's 100%. This is what's going on in the world today hot topic or this is the way I view something and I'm in it really for people to see it and then and you know to trigger people to laugh that's really what it is people at work every day doing all these things and they go into their phone to be entertained and I'm providing entertainment you know a lot of people that I talk about the reason you even come up in my mind is because I respect what you do enough to even know who you are so you know hopefully they don't get too offended you know <laughs>